Any sane, non-delusional computer enthusiast would know that Linux is by far the most unbearable experience most of the time. That explains a lot why most people, even if they know a lot about computers, don't use Linux as their daily driver and instead use Windows. Now imagine if on top of having to hack the OS of your own laptop just to be able to install a application, you also have a decade old Lenovo ThinkPad with less than 8 gigabytes of RAM. So now on top of having to pay a arm and leg to install the application, it also runs at half the speed? <laughs> Now luckily there are ancient games that can run on ancient computers meaning that it's possible to create a truly retro gaming system and that's exactly what we're going to do today. Now before I tell you the story on how I actually did this, let's take a look at this masterpiece of a system. It's running on Linux Mint with a i5-3320M which has two cores that run at 2.60 gigahertz. Then we also have four gigabytes of dedicated RAM and a built-in 250 gig hard drive. Now everything I just mentioned is mediocre, but seeing how the name of this video is Retro Gaming Machine, don't expect me to try to run anything like Cyberpunk 2077, but even then it probably wouldn't sound like a PS4, it would probably just explode. Let's slander Linux for a moment. I know there are human beings that absolutely despise Windows for nitpicked reasons, but this system is using Linux Mint 22 Cinnamon. It's it's quite literally the only OS that isn't like launching a NASA spaceship. I ended up getting this OS to work the best. I tested Arch Linux, got stuck at a command prompt, and I also tested Ubuntu. Honestly, not horrible, but I'm pretty sure this system has something against Ubuntu. Then I finally just returned to my number one Linux distro, Linux Mint, and it actually started working somewhat, but I'll tell you about that later. Now I may be talking good about Linux Mint, but that still doesn't cover the issue that almost every Linux distro has, and that is Linux applications and missing application components. When I tell you that Linux is the most unbearable OS since iOS is for a reason. Everything that I installed required research, whether it's because of a missing component that has been long lost in the void of the internet, or simply not being able to find the application in the software manager and having to try 20 different commands to a eventually lead to the application not opening anyways. Now it's time for me to showcase to you guys the one, the only Okay, it's not the most beautiful. I didn't really put much effort into the looks of this thing, mostly because I lost the will for this setup after I got the games somewhat working. But now let me give you somewhat of a tour. Now before we start, you guys will see some visual glitches on the laptop view, but that's because this thing is so ancient that it only gives one of the most ancient ports known to man for outputting video signal, and that is VGA. Now the visual glitches is most likely because of my abomination of adapters, which is converting VGA to HDMI so I can connect it to my good old capture card. I would have tried OBS on this thing, but, but I have enough problems on my plate already. Now here you will see this godly library of relatively retro games. We got Deadpool, S tier, FNAF 4, S tier, GTA games, both S tier, Lego games, the best games ever created by far. Then we got some throwbacks like Madden 12, NBA Live, 1995, Pac-Man, and Super Mario 64, which is also a beautiful game. Now every game here is working if not you would definitely not see them which there is a lot and then we have some that have big issues oh oh my god oh my god okay 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 but nonetheless all games are working and i honestly have a top tier lineup of games here now will i be adding more absolutely not but this still is a good system for if someone is coming over and you need a second system and you don't want their talons touching your pc Let's play some games. 